So if I add two numbers together, you notice nothing happens when I change that number box. That's significant, but I'll come back to that. Uh, 10 plus 25 is 35. That's fine. Um, if I change, uh, if I make it a de decimal, um, so 10.226 plus 25, we notice that the outcome is still 35. That's because the plus object doesn't have a point in there anyway, in anywhere that designates that it needs to deal with floating point numbers. So what we need to do, because we don't necessarily know what the what the number coming in on the right-hand side is going to be, um, then we need to just put in zero point, and then it will be able to deal with floating point numbers. So hopefully that's reasonably clear. Um, you'll notice, incidentally, that if I want in an, a number box to be able to uh, to control the uh, the number at any uh, decimal um, stage, then I I click and drag at that stage in order to add that number. So if I click to the left-hand side of the decimal point, then I oops, sorry, and I drag, then I just uh, change integers. Um, if I start, to, if I move to the right-hand side of the decimal place and move, then I then I can deal with decimal numbers. Um, and in fact, the further the right I go, the more precise I can become. Um, and if I make the number box bigger, you'll be able to see that I can go to um, quite precise. number changes down here. Uh, so that's that part of the exercise. I'm going to stop there. Again, that's one critical issue. It's not a particularly exciting one, but it is a critical issue. Because I didn't really talk about the, uh, the mathematical objects. Um, although it should be reasonably clear, I, I, well, hopefully it's reasonably obvious how they work. Um, but there are, you know, the usual four, as I think I mentioned before. Um, you have addition. Um, you can have. I'll just make this bit bigger. Yeah. Um, you have uh, subtraction. Uh, you have multiply. And you have divide. Um, and remember, if you want to get them to deal with uh, decimal places, you need to put in. At zero point, or your number that you put in as an argument needs to have a point in it. Again, that's if you want to deal with decimals. Um, but as you might expect, um, you can it, you need you know you have two operands, um, and they will be you know the number that you want the two numbers that you want to add, or one that you want to subtract from another, and so on. And then out of the bottom, you have an outlet which gives you your result. Um, so I think that's fairly straightforward. You also have a series of logical operators, which we might come back to later, although you'll probably have less use for those at this stage. There's one other one which you might um, come across. I think I mentioned it in the, uh, in the, tu in the exercises. Um, and that is the modulo operator. Let's put that one in. And this one looks like a, just a percentage. Uh, but what this one does is to... Well, essentially divide by the number that you put in as an argument, uh, but it doesn't give you the result of that. Um, it will divide it by a whole number um, and then find the remainder. So it's the remainder that it will output. So for example, if I put in um, the number 3 as an argument, um, and then I'll put in two integers here, Um, <coughs> uh, we basically make a, a sort of base, a base three. Um, so we have one, two, three, uh, and then when we move to four, um, we we div I suppose we kind of uh, how how many threes are there in four? Well, there's one, but we don't worry about that. There is one left over. How many fives are there in three? Well, there's one five in three, you, um, but there are two left over. When we get to six, um, we have uh, two threes in six, but again, we don't worry about the two. We have zero left over. Um, so, as I say, it, it's, uh, um, it just finds the remainder once you divide by the number that is in as an argument. I hope that's reasonably clear. It probably could have been better explained, but never mind. <coughs>